Let's talk about the upcoming Pixel 9a. Now we've talked about this phone quite a bit already. We actually have really high resolution renders of what this phone is going to look like. But today in this video, we're gonna talk specifically about the camera setup because I'm seeing a report be passed around and I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you guys. I feel like I'm going crazy. I am not a camera expert, but I think I know some things and I know that some of you are camera camera experts, and maybe you can help me sift through this one. I'm asking for your help. This is the report from Android headlines. Google Pixel 9a to feature a 48 megapixel camera. And let's just scroll down and let's take a look at this opening paragraph. The Pixel 9a is getting a redesign for 2025, complete with a flat camera module, as we've already shown off. Now we also see that Google is changing up the cameras a bit this year. It is ditching the 64 megapixel primary sensor for a 48 megapixel primary sensor. Then they say it's likely the same sensor that is included in the rest of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. That's worded a little bit strangely, but I'm assuming that they're meaning it's the same sensor that's in the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Now that seems fairly reasonable unless you start digging into this and it just doesn't make sense to me and this is why I need your help. So we're on GSM Arena, and this is the Pixel 8a. This is where we're coming from, headed to the 9a. And it is, as they say, a 64 megapixel sensor. That is your aperture 1.9, and then you are a 1 over 1.73 inch sensor with 0.8 micrometer pixels. If we go to the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, you will see that it is indeed a 48 megapixel sensor. The aperture is not relevant to this. It is a 1 over two inch sensor. So it is smaller than the sensor that is in the Pixel 8a. And it also has 0.8 micrometer pixels. Now this is where things get even more complicated. We're just gonna go to this report talking about the Pixel 8a when it was still sort of being rumored and coming out. This was Camilla Wojcikowska and this ended up being true. Let's look at the actual sensors. Let's find the right section. Here we go. So. Sony IMX 787, 64 megapixel sensor, 787. That is what it's using. The Pixel 8a uses the Sony IMX 787. Keep that in mind. Here we are again on Android Authority, another article by Camilla Wojcikowska where they were doing the rumor thing again. And we have with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, they had listed the Sony IMX 787 for this one as well. You think, well, were they wrong? The answer is... No, they weren't wrong. It is the Sony IMX 787 in the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. It is simply cropped in. They're not using the full sensor, which is why when you look at this, the pixel sizes are the same, but the sensor size is smaller. So the Pixel 8a and the Pixel 9 Pro Fold both use the Sony IMX 787. Unless I'm just wrong about this, and I'm seeing multiple sources online that would also be wrong, this doesn't make sense. If you have the 787 in the Pixel 8a and you're switching to a 48 megapixel sensor, the same, the same one that's in the 9 Pro Fold, that's the same sensor. What this should say is that they are cropping the sensor, but not changing it. Am I crazy? They go on to say the Pixel 9a does get a slight upgrade over the 8a in the camera setup because it is a larger sensor in the 9a, but that's not true. If it's the same sensor that's in the 9 Pro Fold, it would be cropped and it will be getting smaller, right? One over two is smaller than one over seven, 1.73. That is math. It's not getting bigger. It will be getting smaller. So something has to be wrong about this report. It cannot be the same sensor as in the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and not be the same sensor that was in the Pixel 8a, but cropped. And when I saw this and I read this article, I made this quick post on threads kind of talking about it. And I was just going to leave it at that because ultimately it's not that big of a deal, right? It's kind of just like wording in the article saying that it's a bigger sensor, saying that it's a different sensor, but it's the same sensor as the 9 Pro Fold, which is the same sensor that the 8A was using. It's not really going to amount to anything. At the end of the day, it appears to just be the 787 again, but this time 
it's being cropped in just a little bit. I would assume that the logical reasoning for this, if you look at this render and you look at the size of the camera bump, is to reduce the size of the camera module. So you have, this is my basic understanding, imagine you have this big sensor and instead of building a you know camera hardware that goes all the way around that, you're just sort of cropping in so you're, you can be physically smaller. The sensor is the same, but you're using less of the sensor. Sensor is now, or the camera module is now smaller, so the camera bump is also smaller. That would be my assumption of what is going on here. Again, I would love, you know, camera experts out there clarify if I'm talking completely out of my rear end or not. But again, it's not going to make that big of a difference. The camera performance on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold with the newest processor is actually really quite good. It's, it's very solid. It's one of my favorite things about this device. The camera's very, very consistent and takes great shots. I've made several videos talking about that. So again, it's not going to really amount to whole, a whole lot, but it is something that was confusing me, and I, I wanted to throw it out here and just see what you guys think, so that is what I have done. So hit those comments down below, camera experts, and tell me what you think. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.